Wow. Now some of these points are not for the well the proud if I I'm being direct here. So if you think something of yourself as a young professional, not in the healthy sense, but in the unhealthy sense, perhaps thinking more of yourself than is necessary, believing you are better than others in every sense because of some qualification you may have or some connection you may have, then please you can stop watching this video. For the rest of us, let's go, let's go. So this is by a guy wiser than you know probably a <laughs> All of us watching because he has been a problem solver for 40 plus years. In addition to that, he's an author, strategist, and a, oh, sorry, an author and a marketing strategist. His name is Mark Mellon. And the question it hits home How can you be taken seriously as a young professional? Now, as a young professional, because your youth will speak before your actions do. Once they see your smooth face, that 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 shiny look in your eyes, the readiness in in your 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 facial expressions and your gestures, immediately they can tell, oh, okay, this guy is a, he's a greenhorn, right? He's a newbie, he's a young blood. So how can you be taken seriously? And before I read the point here, let me try to call to mind some, well, some local tips that I've heard over the years. One is to grow your beard, to be seen more as a man, right? I don't subscribe to that, unfortunately. The other is to be taken seriously. You need to try and communicate with your superiors and workmates at at their level this is good but what this really means is you know having that kind of office talk that is morally questionable because it it drifts sometimes into you know some sort of sexual experiences right hey you know this woman or oh, you know this guy or oh, charlie Right and trivial matters, but you may believe that oh okay you are being taken seriously by having these kinds of discussions with them, but it will shock you to know that when they meet with other people of their age group, they have far more productive conversations with them. So you are that one guy. You may think oh you damn you know you day tight, but in reality he or she is using you to just let off steam. That's unfortunate, but it's the sad truth. Right. So how then can you be taken seriously? Do you have to act? Instead of being yourself, do you need to act like a, a, a more mature person? Like, you don't even want to mingle with people who are your age, Charlie, Afewa, Baso. Well, there's that method. It works for some people. I will not completely shut it down. Someone could raise an argument that may appeal to me that that is the, the way to go. But they, none of those people... Uh, have 40 plus years of experience like this man Macmillan. So let's hear what he has to say. One, don't act like a smart ass or know it all. The world and others will teach you more than any educational institution ever could. Facts. Listen more than you talk. Then when you do talk, people will listen because it's unusual. Facts. Respect others above and below you. One day, someone will save your bacon because you treated them like a person. Facts. Find how things work around here. You get more done using the current system than fighting it. Until you run the place. Facts. Admit when you don't know something. And seek the advice of others. Especially those who have been around a long time. Facts. Right? And even on this point. Again, I would always try to hit on where I fall short here. Because I still believe I'm a learner, I'm a work in progress. And I fall short here, or at least fell short here, because in my first opportunity, employment opportunity I was given, I felt that I had to prove myself, I had to do things. And so even if I was given a task that, especially the email issue, when I was given the task of sending an email, it turns out later on I was expected to come back and ask how it was done. That's what they expected. So when I didn't come for some time, they were shocked. So when I eventually came, I was like, I've sent it. They were like, ah, who did you come to? 
to cross check. So it was a big issue because I didn't do it well before I even sent it. Right? And I thought I had killed it. So sometimes the people ex- even expect you to come to them to ask. They know you can't do it on your own. So when you don't come, you've rather failed instead of thinking that by doing it yourself, you have proved to them that you're capable. No, no, no. You have rather proved to them that, well, the opposite. You are incapable of being trusted with certain tasks because you try and steamroll your way through it and end up doing it the way you weren't supposed to do it. Next, share the glory more than you try to claim it. While you will get backstabbed a few times, people will like working with you and give you more effort and give more effort. And others who may never say a word will notice you gladly let others share the credit and people will love you for that fact. Say thank you to someone at least five times every day. Appreciation is power juice and you can create as much as you like. Well, mm, I hear, I hear. Some people will like to take you for granted, but at this point, well, this point is true. I don't agree with the five times a day part, right? You can't really put a number to genuine appreciation. If you genuinely want to express it, then you express it. It may be more, it may be less, but if it's genuine, then just let it flow, right? Eight, be willing to do the stuff junior executives do instead of having an attitude. If that means organizing a party, make it a great party. Facts, never badmouth anyone. You have no idea what is happening in their life. Whether above or below you, Others will sense your heart and repay you with respect. Facts. 10. Appreciate those who have gone before you, those who support you, and those who work to make life easier. But no one notices. Facts. Especially the security staff. Befriend them. Right? Try and befriend them. You don't really need to sit by them and chat for hours endlessly. It could be something as simple as always greeting them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That way, the moment you walk up to them with that issue, it's as good as done. They will do everything in their power to help you because they will remember, oh, this guy always shows me respect. So I'll do my best to put in effort that, you know, he needs for to get this thing done for him. Right. Now, now, you see, you see, we should also try. Don't be manipulative. You may never, ever go to the security man for something. That doesn't mean that you should never, ever greet him. Still keep greeting him. Right. Still keep greeting him. He deserves it. So, that's that. And, well, this is value. right? You, you should have found some value here. Right? So, all the best.